afternoon everybody. Today I have a slightly, slightly different bit of a haul. I feel like this is getting me in my zone. It's getting my creative, fashion-y product thoughts into a vid and I'm loving it. I'm already loving it and I haven't even started. So today, as you can see by the title, we are doing a autumn haul with clothing. We've got some prods, we've got some shoes. We've got a scarf or two. We've got the nails to go in the zone. Look at this, look at this. Look at these. We've got some pumpkins and I'm loving it. <laughs> I feel very autumnal today. And I actually have the right to say autumnal as many times as I like because this is an autumn based video. Basically, today I just have kind of my favorite outfits, styles, things of this autumn time. We also have the candle burning at the ready. You can't actually see it. I was trying to work out how to get the candle in shot, but then I thought, you know what? I won't be able to smell it behind me. It'll probably burn the light. So we've got it over here. I wish you could smell him too, but you can't. That is a feature that YouTube needs to create, the smeller factor. It is the white pumpkin DW candle. We may be coming back to candles within the video, so it's gonna be good. And we have a big cup of tea. We're the Halloween mug and a sausage dog is a devil. <laughs> so anyway, let's get into it. I feel like I'm blabbing absolute nothing now. So I'm actually going to start with what I'm currently wearing. I don't know if you can actually see it in the light we're in. You can now. You can now. Look at that. The light came to me then. It is a pom-pom jumper. Let me go back so you can get a bit more of a view. Look at this. Look at this. Do you know how long I have been waiting to find a pom-pom jumper? Like a proper one. Last year I had, I had one with some tiny ones, but it wasn't the main factor of the jumper. This one's the main factor and I'm loving him. Look at it. Look at the pom-poms. Niall <laughs> hates this jumper. I dress for me. I love it. <laughs> so this is from ASOS. Do you know what I'm going to do as well? I'm going to make sure I link everything in the description box. But I'm going to try and find some alternatives as well because I feel like I love this pom-pom jumper But I'm sure there's lots of good pom-pom jumpers out and about on the old internet So what I'm gonna do is obviously link this one and all these products But I will try and find similar ones because then you got a bit of an option, you know Let's move along to the next style item vibe. So let's do a shoe next up I recently bought these boots and I am literally in love so these are the dr martin boots do you call them doctor or say doc i think doctor's the uncool way of saying it most people say doc martins don't they doc martins we've got some doc martins and i have been trying to find some wintry boots in this style with a lace-up but not doc martins for a very long time i just i've been avoiding doc martins i feel like they're quite gothic but i think they've become quite stylish and because they've designed some well, I mean I have no idea how long this design's been out but I feel like these look less gothic than a lot of their styles I feel like they're like less platformy and they're less high on the leg they just don't have the gothic vibe a lot of the Doc Martens do so these I bought from ASOS though I am obsessed I think they literally just go with everything and I was scared they were gonna make me feel like a clump I thought I was gonna be clumping about. I don't know, I, I wasn't sure if they would actually look good on, but they do. They look great with absolutely everything. Although they are like more of a pricey kind of range, I feel like they're a boot that lasts for years and years, so they're kind of an investment. I mean, I think these were around 135 pounds, which is quite a lot, obviously, but with a winter boot like this, I think they will last me years and years. I know some people get, keep their Doc Martens for like 10 years, so you know, it's, it's an investment, but, I will try to link some similar boots to this that aren't Doc Martens as well if I can because yeah, we'll have some price differences as well. Right, next up we're moving on to the PJs. So, they're a bit fluffy because I think Bluebell's been lying on them on the floor but we have this pair is actually one of my favourites. If you watch my vlogs, I'm sure you will have seen them many a times. These are from Next and these are covered in woodland creatures. Now, I'm sure you will know by now that I am slightly obsessed with hedgehogs. I've got hedgehogs on here and he has a hat on. Some of them are drinking tea. We've got a squirrel with some tea. I just love woodland creatures. And I actually bought these last year, so I'm not sure if these exact ones are still at next, but they have a Christmas version and they're all kind of like snowboarding and skiing from what I can remember. I've had my eye on them for a very long time. 
and I really want to get them. But there's something about next pajamas which are just glorious. They have brought out some ones that are relatively similar this year too. And then they come with the matching bottom which there's something about the style as well. They're very soft but not like too hot. You know when you get a pajama that's too hot that you just never wear them in bed? What's the point then? You need an in the middle, that's what you need. You need you need one that you can bop about in the house, pop your dressing gown on because it's a bit chilly. Then when you take your dressing gown off, get under the duvet, it's all right. And they have kind of like a cuffing on the, on the foot. So they're quite fashionable at the same time. It's a good day. Right, next up I'm gonna move on to activewear. Now I've only got one kind of style to show you today. It's just the style that I'm loving. I feel like it's very autumnal as well. Let's, let's whack it out, not to chat too long. So we have the brand new, I've got two colors here. The brand new design of the Energy Seamless by Gymshark. Ooh, 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 we're falling about. I don't know if you know Gymshark, but if you do know Gymshark, they have had many seamless ranges. But this one has kind of a new style to it. Brand new colors. I am obsessed with this color. It's a dusky pink. I love a dusky pink. I feel like dusky pink just looks really good on the old skin. So um, this new design though is just a little bit on the incredible side of life. I'm not gonna lie. Look at this bra. Okay, it's not doing it justice, but when it's on, it's glorious. Even for small boobed gals, I feel like you don't need to be a big boob gal, but it does also provide like some support for the bigger boobed gals, so you're all right. But then you're not kind of swallowed by a bra if you're a small boobed gal either. I wear a size small in this whole range, as well as almost all of Gymshark clothing, I always wear the size small. I am a UK 6 to 8, and I think my bra's about a 32A, maybe B, I don't know. It has removable pads, which is great as well, so if you, if you don't need a pad, you don't have to have one, but if you do, you have two. Bottoms, though, they are glorious. So, like, this design as well, if you know the Energy Seamless, this design is the best on the bottoms. I feel like the material's nicer, it's kind of like, it is, it's a bit softer, a bit slightly less squishy. I really need to work on my wording. I feel like the waistband is a nice height. It's a high-waisted waistband, but it's not too high. So I feel like some of the old Energy Seamless, a lot of people said that the waistband sometimes like touched their bra, so there was almost no difference, which just isn't that ideal. So I feel like with this one, they've kind of mastered where the waistband sits, but obviously it will always depend on how tall you are and how long your legs are and how long your torso is and everything like that. I'm five foot five, but again, like I don't have the longest legs. I've got slightly, I kind of got an equal torso to leg. No, that would be really weird. My legs aren't that short, but they're not that long either. I just feel like this color especially is very autumnal. It's called slate lavender. So it's kind of got a tinge of purple to a gray. And I know if you're not into the brighter colors like the pinks and the blues and stuff, which I am, <laughs> This is ideal because you get a you get the best of both worlds. Next up, we've got the first of two prods. Are they prods? Yeah, kind of prods. Products is what I mean by prods. So we have pumpkin shower gel. Now I know to some people this will seem bizarre and they won't quite understand the hype, but trust me, if you use pumpkin shower gel and then you spend the rest of the day smelling like a pumpkin, well you don't quite smell like a pumpkin, otherwise that wouldn't be great, but you just smell nice and seasonal and spicy and not leafy because then you smell like mud. Cinnamony, you just smell like a seasonal gal and it just, I feel like it, it brightens my day <laughs> when I get wafts of pumpkin, I don't know. I don't know. These two are from Bath and Body Works, which I got when I was in Canada. We don't have Bath and Body Works in the UK, but I know that Body Shop do a pumpkin vanilla one, I think. I'm tempted to get that one too. And I will also try to see if I can find anywhere else that does some nice ones. But this one is the Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte and the Pumpkin Pickin. The one I'm currently using is this one. I... Come on, camera. I love it. <laughs> right, next up we have a bottom i don't know the technical name for this style but i know that when you see this you'll know what i mean they are i think paper bag tartan check trousers one of them i don't know the exact name if you know let me know <laughs> it's this this kind of pattern which i feel like is extremely in this autumn they're one of those styles that looks very expensive it looks like burberry doesn't it but it's not 
is from ASOS. These are a wide leg. I would really like to get some that aren't a wide leg. I do love wide leg, we know this, but I feel like they would also be really nice in like a tight kind of style as well. I don't know what it is, and obviously paper bag is just the greatest. It feel like it's nice and high-waisted, get a bit of a cinch from the paper bag. It's just a good day, isn't it? Next up, it's one of my faves. This is my current favorite trend this year so far. You all 100% seen somebody wearing one of these, but we have the teddy coats. I think they're technically called Borg coats, but I call them teddy coats because you look like a teddy or two. So I currently have here a baby pink one and a red one. This baby pink one is from Urban Outfitters. This is upside down, that's why it looked weird. <laughs> they have an oversized feel to them, but they don't drown you. I do find sometimes with oversized coats and jackets, they can kind of drown you out and you just look like a ball. Is that the right way to describe it? don't know <laughs> but you know what I mean and I feel like these ones look good oversized and they are supposed to be oversized because this actually is an extra small and it's oversized not massively but it's still got that like bag that casual bag <sighs> I'm not describing things well today what I love about this red one though is it's a statement coat so anything you wear it's gonna just look great with obviously it doesn't go with everything that's the only problem but it's a statement but I just love the fact that the front bit has these two pockets. They are so handy for a phone or two. You don't have two phones, for a phone and a piss. <laughs> they're just really handy and I feel like they're safer because I worry about the ones on the side because things just fall out. This one's from I Am Gia, this one, I don't know if that's how you say it. And um, this is also an extra small, so they're both quite oversized. So I would just say go for your usual size, vibe out with the oversizedness and it's gonna be a good day. You're gonna look cuddly. I will try to link some different versions. There's some very nice brown ones and beige ones I've seen out and about, so I shall link some more. They are literally everywhere at the moment though, so apparently they even have a dusky pink one in Urban Outfit, as someone told me yesterday. And to go with these coats actually, as well as other coats, but they do actually both match these coats. They kind of, this one goes with the baby pink, it's got pink in it, and this one goes with the red. These tartan scarves, I'm loving them. The only thing is you can't wear them obviously with like those tartan trousers, but again, it's like a statement piece to your outfit. I'm gonna pop up a picture where I was wearing the boots as well in, and the statement scarf it just like made the outfit i don't know what it was and it again this looks quite expensive it looks like it's from burberry but i haven't ever bought from burberry <laughs> burberry not burberry but i feel like i have i look like i have I love it. These two are both from ASOS. I just love this like nudie one and then also having like a red one too. I feel like they're both kind of the statement colors of tartan scarves. Maybe it's just me, that's what I'm thinking. Right, we have a couple more bits. So next up we have some joggers. Now these are from Pretty Little Thing and it's just something very almost fashionable about these joggers. I never used to be a jogger person. I feel like I don't really suit that style. I'm much more into my pajamas. <laughs> I have lots of different pajamas, but I just have never been one to get trackies. I don't know why, it's just not, just not my vibe, but it is now because these actually look quite fashionable just out and about. Get your teddy coat on, get your trackies on, get your top on and maybe a trainer and you're good to go. I don't know what it was, I didn't used to like them, but I feel like because these are just very plain, there's no slogan on them, which I really like too. I don't really like sloganed comfy clothes, don't know. I just like, I like being anonymous. <laughs> and we have two more bits. Next up, of course, in the autumn hall, there had to be a candle. So I have actually picked two of my Bath and Body Work ones because this one especially is a special candle. I'm not gonna lie. It's special. It smells like an actual chocolate is burning in your room, even though that would be quite a sad day, but it's absolutely insane. If you're from America or Canada or anywhere that they have Bath and Body Works, get the hot cocoa and cream. It's the greatest. And it's a three wick. We all love a three wick. But, all jokes aside, <laughs> I am just talking in general about like candles in this season. I feel like they just, they're just the nicest thing. Do you know what, I just, it's just the thing I love about this season. It creates such a nice vibe in your house. I feel like it makes you appreciate the cold weather because it gets you nice and cozy. I don't know, I feel like if you don't have a candle, go get one and possibly get the hot cocoa if you can. If not, Home Sense TK Maxx, they have incredible candles and all of the pumpkin ones I just absolutely adore. 
Love it. And finally, we have the wide leg paper bag jean. Now these are from Pretty Little Thing. Have been wearing them a lot. And I just think they are a great style. Apparently these are very 70s. I said in one of my hauls because this was actually, these were in a haul actually a while ago. I thought that they were 90s, but they're not. They're, I think they're a 70s vibe. But they are like this. <laughs> Nice and wide legged, very wide legged actually, right to the floor. And then they tie up at the waist. So I just, I don't know, they're another statement kind of item to have in an outfit. I think there's so many nice statement bits out at the moment and then you just need to throw like a plain black top with them or a plain white top and get your scarf on, get your wide leg jean out, get your teddy coat on, get your Doc Martin boots. I've got an outfit for you there. But the paper bag jean waist I think came in quite heavily this summer in shorts and then they dragged it onto autumn because it was so good and I'm loving him. So that is everything for today. I really hope you enjoyed this kind of different styled haul. I feel like it was nice to show you my favourite bits. It's almost like a favourites video I guess. It's just loads of things that I'm loving at the moment that are quite seasonal and I don't know just give me all the vibes. Anyway please let me know if you enjoyed this video. Please let me know if there's anything that you liked. I'll make sure that I link everything in the description box and as I was saying I will try to link some extra kind of options with it in case, you know, for price reasons or just style reasons, colour difference ones. Let me know if you enjoyed though, please do. And I really hope you're having a lovely day. Happy Thursday if you're watching this on the day it's up. It's very autumnal outside, I'm not gonna lie. I'm loving the brisk, crisp, fresh air in the autumn. It's great. Anyway, have a lovely day. <laughs> I will hopefully see you in the next one.